Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Valley Creek Leadership Academy graduation. My name is Chris Searcy, and I'm the VCLA pastor here at Valley Creek, and I'm so thankful that you decided to join us tonight. I'd also like to extend a special welcome to those of you who may have never been to a Valley Creek physical campus. Valley Creek Church is a movement of hope for the city and beyond. We're so thankful that you're here with us tonight. Tonight, we get to celebrate these 14 kingdom leaders who are graduating from VCLA. But before we do, we wanna celebrate Jesus. We wanna tell him thank you for all the things he's done this year in VCLA. And tonight, we have the honor of being led in worship by several of our own VCLA alumni. So to my VCLA graduates, we have had the opportunity to worship and encounter God's presence in classrooms, in buses, hotels, airports, mountains, valleys, all over the world this year. So wherever you are right now, have him bring to mind every single thing you've learned, all your next steps, all that revelation, and thank him for it right now in worship. And for our VCLA friends and family and the rest of our Valley Creek Church family, thank you so much for joining in tonight. We wanna to invite you to thank God for all the things he's done in VCLA this year and what he's gonna to continue to do in the lives of our graduates. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you for your goodness and thank you for your faithfulness. We know that every single thing that happened that was good this year was because of you. So help us to honor you right now in this time of worship. In Jesus' name, amen. Is your faithfulness I 
to our VCLA students. Lord, we thank you for every next step that you've given to them and all the freedom that they found and received in you this year, Lord. We thank you, we worship you, we give you praise because you are a good and faithful God who's worthy of our worship. We love you, Jesus. It's in your name that we say, amen. Hey, VCLA, I love you guys. Getting to spend time with you in the classroom and in different countries this year has been such a joy. I'm so proud of you for all the ways that you grew and took steps. And I know that this is just the beginning. There's more to come for you and I cannot wait to see what God does in you. We are so proud of you and so grateful that you went on this journey to become the kingdom leader that God has called and created you to be. Congratulations, VCLA! What he said. You guys always brought a joy and an excitement and a passion to learn new things each and every day, and you made us better. You made me better. So man, for the times that I had an opportunity to hang out with you and just be in the class environment, I just wanna say thank you. Man, thank you for leaning in. Thank you for asking such amazing questions, and thank you for saying yes to being a part of ECLA. On behalf of the kids team, I wanna say we are so proud of you. You guys have changed the atmosphere in the kids' spaces by going first and leading relationally. You have the most amazing servant hearts, and we are so excited to see what's in store for your future. We are so proud of you. We are so thankful for you. Nine months, oh my goodness, and Jesus did so much in and through you, and so we are so excited to get to celebrate with you guys. Congratulations! It just brings a joy to me whenever y'all are hanging out around campus uh, during lunch and stuff, and I can take five minutes just to just pause and hang out with you. Figure out what y'all are doing that day, what crazy adventure you might be going on or what you are learning. It really brought me back to when I was in VCLA. Congratulations, we are so excited for you. We have loved spending the last like nine months with you guys worshiping and the way that you have changed the atmosphere week after week in worship has been so inspiring and it's meant so much to us. Yeah, and you guys continually lead the way for all of us on staff with passion in the way that you guys engage in meetings, the way that you guys, like Brandon said, engage in the front on all the weekend services. Like you guys really do lead the way. Your joy gave me joy and I believe that that was an awesome part of this year's class. Congratulations you guys. It's blessed me to watch you this entire time and so thank you so much. I just want to say thanks for believing there's always more. Because you believe there was more, you forced us to believe that there was always more. So let's keep doing that together and pursuing everything Jesus has for us. I love you guys. Congratulations VCLA students, you did it! And we are so excited for you and we are so proud of you. And today I just want to encourage you by reminding you of God's faith over the past nine months. So you were thinking, I don't know, should I do VCLA? And his voice encouraged you. And then you thought, I don't know if I can get through VCLA, and he empowered you. And now you're standing on the threshold for your next step. He has equipped you, and he is with you. And so we just want to celebrate where you're going and what God has in store next. You will always have a home here at Valley Creek, but man, we want you to go out there, be hope carriers. You know who you are, who he is, and what you were created to do, so give it everything you've got. We can't wait to see what the season holds. And I'm telling everybody, be ready people, VCLA's graduated, so hope is definitely on the move. Remember, once at Vicla, always at Vicla. Wow, what a year it has been. Thank you, Valley Creek staff, for investing in our students this year, and I could not agree with you guys more. It has been amazing to watch these students own it from August to May. I'm reminded of Psalm 126.3 that says, the Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. And the joy we're celebrating tonight is what we've seen in these students as they've discovered more of who they are, who God is, and what they were made to do. Every now and then at a VCLA preview night event, we have the opportunity to talk to a potential parent or student and they ask us this question or a version of it. What is VCLA really like? I mean, what do you guys actually do all day or for nine months even? Well, the reality is whenever we started VCLA three years ago, we had in mind a leadership greenhouse of sorts. How can we create an environment to accelerate the growth in these young adult kingdom leaders? In other words, we wanted to de develop their souls and their skills. We want to disciple their hearts as well as develop their hands for the specific calling God has on their life. 
So what I'd like to do right now is give you a glimpse into their nine month journey. They've spent this last two semesters in a classroom that's been both engaging and collaborative. They've had an awesome experience learning more about their identity as beloved sons and daughters. They've experienced God's presence as they studied his word and learned to hear his voice and follow it. We've got the opportunity to hear from kingdom leaders in multiple spheres of influence and industries around the world. We've had the chance to listen to our Valley Creek staff teach us their testimonies, share their stories of leadership and invest in our own students this year. But we haven't just been in the classroom. We've been in labs where we've learned skills in public speaking and interviewing and hosting. And then we had the chance to practice the presence of God, not only here locally, but around the world. We went to Colorado and learned what it meant to become a family. We went to Houston and spent time in the inner city and got to share Jesus and pray with the homeless. We went to New Delhi, India and did culture camps in the slums and the schools. We went to Kingston, Jamaica and led a hub mission trip where they were able to share Jesus with over 2000 students all over the impoverished communities. You see, we've had a chance to not just practice the presence of God, we've had a chance to live it and experience it together as a family. What I'd like to do right now is invite you to hear from these VCLA graduates' own mouths what their experience has been like. Hi, it's Maggie, and I'm so excited to share my VCLA story with you. Before VCLA, I lived my life in a constant state of fear. I believed that I needed to work harder by the world's standards in order to be significant. I struggled to see the purpose and value in my life. Before VCLA, I was really thinking that God was good, but he may not always be good to me because of the things that I've done in my past. I thought I was defined by anxiety, striving, and performance. But throughout these past nine months, Jesus has begun to reveal to me my true identity, piece by piece. It's been amazing. I realized that God totally speaks to me, and he's probably been speaking to me all my life. I just haven't realized it because I haven't been listening to his voice daily. Before VCLA, I believed that God loved me, but I didn't necessarily believe God really liked me. I believed God was walking with me, but I didn't really believe that God was for me. God changed my perspective on that in what we call encounters. God showed me scripture verses, he used worship songs, people praying over me to show me that he wasn't interested in a task-based relationship with me. He just wanted to be my good father. God created love, and so the more that I was able to understand and receive that love for myself, the more I was able to give it to other people. It has been such a journey of freedom and breakthrough and healing. And I finally got it that like God really is good. From that moment on, I was able to truly see and recognize God's love all around me. God replaced my hopelessness and my fear with boldness and fire. I realized that it didn't matter how messed up my past is. It's about how willing I am to surrender my future. I realized that Jesus is bigger than my mess ups and he is always, always more focused on my next steps than my missteps. And Jesus says that I am a leader. That empowered me and it encouraged me so much to soak up everything that I learned in BCLA. Now, like, I can see his goodness in even the hardest of situations. Like with this pandemic, it's been really hard. It's been really tough. But there's been times where I've been able to look and pick out good pieces from it. I was worshiping and I just heard so clearly from God that I am loved. Throughout the past nine months, I've grown so much in the love that God has for me. Now that VCLA is coming to an end, I, <laughs> I'm leaving with the knowledge that I am loved. Joining VCLA has been one of the best decisions of my entire life. And man, I had no idea that these people were gonna become like a family to me. This changed my life. I learned who God created me to be. I learned my purpose, and I learned how to believe the best in others, and I learned how to love first. And I have been equipped with so many different tools to place in my tool belt so that I can walk out into the real world as the confident, beloved hope carrier that I am. Man, wasn't that inspiring? VCLA students, we are so proud of the work that God has done in each one of you this year. And so now we come to the point in the service where we are going to celebrate each one of you. So VCLA graduates, whenever you hear your name called, we want to invite you to stand. And any friends or family members that want to honor that student, you stand as well. And parents, whenever we're done celebrating, you hand them their VCLA certificate. 
Now, whenever we celebrate at Valley Creek, we don't golf clap. We celebrate just like the angels do when the kingdom is advanced. So our first graduate that we're gonna celebrate tonight is Claire Beauchamp. Claire, you were made to help shattered hearts become whole. You are quick to love and slow to judge. Your smile is inviting and your laughter is contagious. You genuinely put the needs of others above yourself. As a leader, you're adaptive. You're good at seeing different points of view and then using diplomacy, you arrive at an agreeable solution in any circumstance. You are faithful throughout this entire year in serving at Hub and classroom attendance and on all of our mission trips. You always found a way to engage with Jesus no matter where you were. You seek harmony wherever there's chaos. The scripture we chose for you is Proverbs 11:25. The generous will prosper, but those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. Claire's next step is to attend Texas Women's University and major in social work. Claire, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. The next graduate is Liam Douglas. Liam, you were made to lead students to healing and redemption through Jesus. You have the gift of faith. And with that gift, you are made to bring healing to the nations. The Lord has comforted you and you therefore have become an agent of comfort for others. Your leadership style is that of a challenger. You challenge unfairness and injustices for those who have no voice for their own. Yet beneath that intensive exterior, we have seen a heart brimming with tenderness and love. This was especially true in India. Whenever you were serving in the slum at one of the largest schools, you went there faithfully every day, loving and serving on those children, helping them with homework and encouraging them. You were hope to them. The scripture we chose for you is Isaiah 61.1. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim that captives will be released and the prisoners will be freed. Liam's next step is to pursue a degree in social work and to go into ministry. Liam, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Sarah Henninger. Sarah, you are made to cultivate the good in others. You are intrinsically concerned for the welfare of those around you. Your leadership style is that of a servant. You naturally meet the needs you see. This was born out in India when you consistently and joyfully own the roles you were given on that trip. You went into VCLA without a clear picture for your future. Then after teaching and leading and singing and dancing and serving for these whole two semesters, Jesus has put a passion in your heart for the next generation to lead them in the kingdom. The scripture we chose for you is Matthew 20, 26. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. Sarah's next step is to pursue a calling in ministry. Sarah, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Nancy Hernandez Frias. Nancy, you create environments for people to encounter Jesus everywhere you go. Your eye for detail and love for people are great assets to the kingdom of God. Your leadership style is enthusiastic. You bring energy and optimism everywhere you go. And where there's negativity, you bring the positivity. You believe the best and you bring out the best in everyone. When the year started, you were our cheerleader climbing up that mountain in Colorado and you kept cheering for us all year long. You especially shined bright in Jamaica. Every one of those kids would stand in line to be in your group because they saw the compassion and the joy and the love that you were sharing every day. The scripture we chose for you is Nehemiah 8.10. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Nancy's next step is to pursue a career in ministry with a special focus on administration. Nancy, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Meredith Hickel. Meredith, you connect the voiceless with God's voice. You are a gifted worshiper, but for you, worship is not about a platform. 
It's about a lifestyle. As you do life with people, you bring so much healing to the hurting. Your leadership style is discerning. You are such a sensitive listener to the Holy Spirit and what he's doing. You are able to step into any room and to kind of read it and sense, okay, this is of God and this is not. Over and over this year, you've carried his presence with you by leading us in worship and then sharing a heartfelt comment or helping encourage someone with the truth. The scripture we chose for you is John 4, 24. God is spirit and his worshipers must worship in spirit and truth. Meredith's next step is to attend Abilene Christian University in the fall and pursue a degree in speech therapy. Meredith, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Zach Jobst. Zach, you help young men find their identity in Christ. And you do that by modeling what it looks like to live as a beloved son. Your leadership style is sacrificial. When it comes to the behind the scenes stuff of leadership, you're the first one to volunteer and the last one to leave. And on our mission trip in Jamaica, we saw this firsthand by just the way that you served just over and over, oftentimes when nobody even noticed. And you led Hub students to come alongside you and to learn with you. And we loved seeing you in action. The scripture we chose for you is Colossians 3.23. Whatever you do, work at it with all of your heart as unto the Lord, for it's him that you're serving. Zach's next step is to pursue a welding certificate and then to teach welding to others. Zach, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Emily Lavender. Emily, you discovered confidence in your calling, and so now you want to help help young women find confidence in theirs. You do this best when you're interacting in a setting where you're just courageously vulnerable, and you pave the way for us so many times throughout the year. Your leadership style is persevering. You never give up. If anyone can be counted on to come through, it is you. Emily is the girl. You take ownership of assignments and you follow through with discipline and excellence. And whether it's serving students in Hub or in Houston, you never tapped out, you never gave in, and you never lost heart. The scripture we chose for you is Revelation 2.3. You have persevered and you've endured hardships for my name and have not grown weary. Emily's next step is to pursue a calling in ministry. Emily, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. The next graduate is Caleb Moreno. Caleb, you were made to be a worshiper. God made you to redirect the hearts of lost people to the rhythm of God's heart. And we have watched you live this out in so many different ways this year. And it's been so fun to see you think outside the box. So your leadership style is innovative, whether in the classroom, or the mission field, or even at a wedding venue. You pioneered in ushering people into the presence of God. And we especially saw this in Jamaica whether it was just a a song you picked or a timely word or even your magnetic smile. You led worship and you brought the Hub students along with you on that journey. So the scripture we chose for you is a simple one, but it's so appropriate. Psalm 40, verse three. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to God. So Caleb's next step is to be a kingdom leader in the music industry and to pursue a business degree at either LSU Shreveport or Louisiana Tech. 
Caleb, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. <laughs> the next graduate that we celebrate is Maverick Pitter. Maverick, you are made to be a giver, to be a giver of yourself, a giver of your resources, of your time, your talents, and your treasure. God unlocked freedom in you so that you can unlock freedom in others. And Maverick, we know that you have an entrepreneurial spirit. We've seen that in so many different ways, and it's going to serve you well, and it's going to serve the kingdom of God well. Your leadership style is influential. You light up a room every time you walk in. You have such a countenance about you that just makes people feel comfortable. We saw this live itself out at preview night when you hosted that group of people. Oh my goodness, you made them feel so welcome and so loved. You just know how to make things better. So the scripture we chose for you is 2 Corinthians 9, 11. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. So Maverick intends to pursue a career in IT and real estate investments. Maverick, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. So the next graduate is Gabby Shaley. Gabby, you were made to ignite other people with the passion you have for God's truth. God has entrusted you with the gift of prophecy. And oh my goodness, you stewarded this gift so well this year. We witnessed that firsthand in the classroom. We have watched you tune out the world and tune into the whisper of your heavenly father. And we have heard you courageously speak from that word that he gave you and encourage and strengthen others. As a leader, you are a bold visionary. You see God's vision. Then you partner with him to see that vision lived out. We saw that especially at preview night. When you led the team, you saw what God saw for that evening. And then you entrusted that to the team and they executed it flawlessly. The scripture we chose for you is Luke eleven twenty eight. 28. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. So Gabby's next step, no surprise, is to pursue a career in ministry. So Gabby, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. So the next graduate is Josiah Sims. Josiah, you were made to train young men to be warriors for God. God has designed you to be in tune with the needs of others, especially those who have been overlooked. Your leadership style is relational and your love language is acts of service. So because of this, when others depend on you, you are so faithful. You are a loyal friend and a trusted confidant. You have faithfully been there for all of us all year long. It started in Colorado. We asked for volunteers and you were the first to raise your hand and you never stop volunteering. So the scripture we chose for you as a trainer of young men, is 2 Timothy 2.2. 2. And the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses and trust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. 
So Josiah's next step is to pursue a career in ministry and also help with the launch of our brand new Gainesville campus. So Josiah, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Maggie Smith. Maggie, you were made to be a storyteller and to inspire others to tell their stories. You possess the rare combination of intuitive creativity and uncompromised discipline, equipping you to shape the world with your own words. Your leadership style is creative, discerning, and catalytic. You are a great team builder. Through your energy, enthusiasm, and example, you bring out the best in others and you brought out the best in us. You owned this VCLA experience from start to finish. You asked for more projects, more books to read, and in every single coaching and discipleship conversation, you leaned in and said yes, no matter what was being asked of you. The scripture we chose for you is Proverbs 31, 31. Honor her for all that her hands have done and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Maggie's next step is to attend Rice University in the fall and pursue a degree in English with a concentration in creative writing. Maggie, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Ashley Cito. Ashley, you are made to bring hope everywhere you go. Your leadership style is strategic. You are a problem solver always thinking several steps ahead. You scope out a situation and develop a system for meeting that need. For example, you were influential in India in shaping our strategies when every single thing changed to connect with the children there, no matter what. This year, you consistently found ways for us to not just be a team, but to actually live like a team. Your humor, your joy, and your creativity were on display whether we were planning an event whether you are hosting families at a preview night or leading the hub students as their team leader in Jamaica. The scripture we chose for you is Isaiah 26, three. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Ashley's next step is to pursue a career in ministry. Ashley, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. The next graduate is Dusty White. Dusty, you are made to guide young men to discover Jesus through adversity. Just as you are an overcomer, you inspire others to overcome. Your leadership style is to lead with positivity. You see the goodness of God in all aspects of life and express it often in gratitude. This allows you to adapt to any situation and lead wherever you are. And your winsome personality makes others wanna follow you. The Hub students in Jamaica saw that firsthand as one of their team leaders. You challenge them, encourage them, and show them what it looks like to joyfully serve. Those Hub students experienced what our entire VCLA team has experienced all year long. You were a joy to lead and an inspiration to all of us. The scripture we chose for you is Ephesians 5.2. Walk in the way of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. Dusty's next step is to pursue a calling in ministry, leading the next generation. Dusty, you are a hope carrier and a kingdom leader. Congratulations. What I'd like to do right now is invite all of our VCLA class of 2020 graduates to rise. And I also would invite every single person watching this that you would stand and join me in celebrating the VCLA class of 2020. Yeah. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a commissioning prayer. So I'm going to pass the microphone to Pastor Cordell, and he's going to lead us into a time of prayer, commissioning our students into their next step. So family and friends and everyone who may be watching, wherever you are, I'm gonna invite you right now to join me in praying for these 14 amazing graduates. Now this is the way it's gonna work. If you're in the same room and close to that graduate, a family or close a, fa a friend, if you would, 
If it's appropriate, just put your hand on their shoulder. And everyone else, whether you're in that room or anywhere around the world, if you would just extend your hand as an expression of faith to just thank God for everything he has done through these students. So we are going to pray together. And I invite you to pray out loud with a bold face. So we'll all pray in unison with one voice at the beginning, and then I'll come back on and I'll close this out. So are you ready? We have so much to be thankful for. So let's pray together. So Father, I thank you for every one of these graduates. Father, I thank you how you met them in the classroom and you demonstrated how good you are. Father, I thank you that when they needed it most, you reminded them that they are forgiven, not based on what they did, but based on what Jesus did. And Father, thank you how you pursued them in demonstrating acts of love toward them every single day. And Father, as you release them to their destiny, thank you that they know that everything is possible. So Father God, we thank you for all of these graduates. We thank you for each one of them, the way you fearfully and wonderfully made them, the way that Father, you called them and gifted them and anointed them and have empowered them. And especially Father, how you have stretched them this year. So they are prepared to launch now into the destiny that you have for them. So Father, right now, we commend them to your grace, to your kindness, to your mercy. Father, may you be their shepherd. May you be their guide. May you be their counselor that reveals to them what their next steps are. And Father, wherever they go in the world, may you consistently remind them of who they are, of who you are, and what they were created to do. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Well, thank you so much for engaging with us and helping us celebrate this incredible class of 2020 in BCLA. What's about to happen right before we close out this service is, what, is there going to be a slide that's going to come up on the screen that says, I graduated from BCLA. Whenever that slide comes on the screen as we close this service, I wanna invite each one of our families as well as our students to take a picture in front of the screen with the hashtag BCLA graduation and post that on social media. I also wanna let you know if you're interested in BCLA for next year, we have applications that are still open. You can go figure out more information about us at bcla.me or follow us on Instagram. And I'd also like to just say a special thank you to everyone that tuned in tonight. But VCLA families, if you have anyone that wasn't able to join us tonight, we'll make this link available for you later. Thank you so much for engaging with this service and for celebrating all that God's done this year in VCLA. Good night.